Okay, so basically all I did in that short amount of time was just take a lot of these and copy and paste them to where they kind of look very orderly and kind of like geometric. Which honestly, I kind of like this design a little bit more than the one right here. It just looks kind of weird because it's all yellow and kind of cheesy looking. So whenever you add the border, it's starting to kind of look a little bit better. And um, for good measure, I also put in some text too. I got um, a couple of fonts online from kind of like Great Gatsby theme. And I put it in a folder and just kind of chose some ones that I thought kind of reminded me of them. But I only ended up using Park Lane, NF, and Riesling for this one. So if you're looking for a good Gatsby font, um, look up Park Lane, NF. So basically all I did was I used this tool, did a big box right here, um, typed down my letters, chose the font right here into Park Lane NF, changed the color to yellow, and changed the text size to 74. And then I basically did the same thing right here. So now we're going to go ahead and um, kind of blend it all together like I did right here with the different color changes. Alright, so first off what I'm going to do is try and highlight as much of the yellow as I possibly can. So I'm going to take off the first layer, which is just the black background. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get layer 2 out of the way, even though the border is yellow around the um, that layer, we can just worry about that later. And so now we have the layer 4, which is the text, and the decorative layer. So I'm just going to literally highlight all of this and I'm going to make a new swatch. A swatch is like a collection of colors that I'm going to use for this project. Like this, uh, this is a whole swatch too. This is a collection of I think four colors kind of like all in order. You'll kind of understand it pretty soon. So go ahead and click this. Actually you might want to double click it and mine automatically turns out like this. I don't know why. But what you're gonna wanna do is click on the color as this is this part is highlighted. So you click on that and then go and pick a color which I started out with kind of a like a sunset like yellowish orange just like a little bit darker because I kind of wanted it to start out a little bit darker so you'll have to kind of experiment with the different colors but I'm just gonna cho choose a random one and then I'm going to click on this one I'm gonna bring that all the way over here and I want it to be a big contrast because back in this one I thought it looked pretty cool with it being really really bright in the center and then having it darken out so it looks like it's being highlighted right in the center. Okay instead of moving this at all or trying to find another color for this one what I do is I add another one kind of where I want it to fade into like a lighter color. So I'm going to click right in the very center And I'm going to move it over and add a new color. So see it's a little bit darker, the arrow's darker, that means that's selected. And then I'm going to do a much lighter color, probably close to the yellow that we did to begin with. And that looks good. So you see there will be kind of a contrast, and I'm actually going to make this a little bit darker, just because I want more of that contrast. Okay, and then I'm going to add 
on right here. And it's good all the way down to the very, very end where it just barely fades into black. And then I'm going to do another dark color. Alright, then we can see how that is. And I'm going to right click and say add to swatches. That way it'll show up right here. And so whenever you see it right now, it doesn't look that great, but at the end it looks a lot better. And I'm going to do the same thing. The gradient swatch, that'll look really cool. And that too. And we'll add in some of the layers just to see kind of how it looks. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Honestly, I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more than my invitation. But you can see it's a little bit more dramatic in this one than it is in the other one. But I'm just kind of trying to make a point that the dramatic looks a lot better than anything else. I know it was like that. Okay, and the rest, you can basically kind of figure out yourself. It's all just a matter of, a, of preference, and a lot of, there can be a lot of different variances to this kind of thing, especially when it comes to Great Gatsby. Like, you can just see the difference between me doing it the first time and the second time, and this one is obviously unfinished, but I just showed you kind of my basic thought process trying to make the first Great Gatsby invitation. So I really hope you enjoyed, and I know that this kind of thing might take time, especially if it's your first time ever using InDesign, but it definitely makes some really cool products. This might just be one of my favorite projects I think I've ever done, just because of the design aspect of it. So I hope you enjoyed.